couple more things to show you with the CD cover here. Um, I went ahead and typed the convergence verbiage images and poetry by Nicole Graham just as specified in the text and I wanted to show you that um, to copy this if you ever wanted to put this on a different layer so that for example you could hide the background and then keep the text editable lock the background um, and then keep the text unlocked you can by going um, first select this copy it control C or edit copy and then um, you can go to your layers panel which I have open and then create new layer and then it's by default it's called layer 2 so um, then what I would do is I would well, actually I would go copy and cut from that layer and then paste it onto the make sure layer 2 is selected and then go edit and you can go paste and if you paste it, it automatically likes to paste it to the center of your document. But I wanted it to paste in the exact same place since I had it positioned perfectly. So I'm going to go edit undo, undo paste, and then edit paste in place. And so now the bounding box has changed. It's a red bounding box because layer 1's designated color is red by default. I can change it. I want to but I don't really care to um, they have a lot of colors that you can choose from and but anyway I wanted to show you that you can easily get something onto the other layer by and you, by using paste in place um, then you don't have to worry about repositioning it if you had it perfectly in the, the first layer but now I can easily hide well because my text is white you can't really see that layer Layer 2 is active, but anyway, I can lock layer 1 and then only have access to um, layer 2 just for convenience because layer 1 is, I can, I can call it background, I can call it whatever I want, background, I just double clicked on it and I can change the color here if I don't want it to be light blue, I, which is always the default, I can change it to a lot of other colors, <laughs> okay? And then I, would, I think that's fine, background, and then I'll rename this one as well. I just double clicked again and just call it text. So that way I can keep things more organized on different layers. So, and then, oh yes, and there was another thing I wanted to show you that if you do the text wrap on here, let's see, it does, text wrap does permeate between layers. So just to, just to clear that up, just because you put it on a different layer doesn't mean the text wrap is not going to bump the layer that's locked already. It does affect all layers, which you want it to. <laughs> and generally speaking, when you're doing a text wrap. And then there's another effect that they talk about in this particular project exercise. I'm going to grab um, the ellipse and create a perfect circle and I'm going to fill it here with white paper actually, paper color. And I wanted to show you the feathering effect. So it's under object effects and it's called basic feather. And I don't know when you you might even want to do this with an image. You can do this with a placed image and feather the edge of the image. But if you have experience with Photoshop, a lot of these effects are similar. You can add drop shadows, inner shadows, outer glows, inner bevels, bevels and embosses, etc. You can adjust the feather, and if you make sure you have preview checked, then you get to see what it looks like. Whoops, I don't know what I just did. Okay, let me cancel that. <laughs> interesting but yeah that's another awesome th thing you can play with the object effects so I can do a drop shadow oh I think I'm gonna do I'm gonna do the basic feather feather it a bit and then there's this directional feather that I thought was cool Let's see ooh kinda like an eye kinda goes with the poetry thing Okay, and I'm just going to make it bigger too. I'm not following the book. <laughs> I'm kind of going on my own here, which is fine. If you guys, for your exercise, you want to play around and do other things, it's totally fine. Have fun with it. But yeah, those are the two effects for this exercise that I wanted to mention.